Hi everyone, uh, today I'm doing another live video with my mother <laughs> because I got another donation from the, the, the burn NGO with clothes and usually I unpack it and show you what I'm going to do with it but my mom is also a quilter and very creative so this time she's going to do it um, so go ahead <laughs> I will start with the first uh, big grey bag. Yeah, it's enormous, and at the hole I see something blue. <laughs> it looks like a, a kind of blue shirt. It has really nice uh, fabric. I think we can work with it. <laughs> I like the color. <laughs> and this is. Mm, it looks like a little scarf. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like. It's a very nice fabric. It's like the batik. Kind of brown, silky material. Another scarf, also brown, also nice. The material is uh, not too thin and good enough to, to use. And look what I found. Gloves. A pair of old-fashioned uh, ladies' gloves. <laughs> They're uh, a bit small. I have big fingers, so it won't fit. The guy told me he got it from old people who didn't know what to do with it. And that one of the bags was smelly. And that they were very happy to to not have it in their house anymore. <laughs> this is a, an old hat. It's very yeah. old and very dirty. It will be filling. <laughs> this is a, a kind of oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, it's for playing. It's for a little child, uh, for a little girl who ah. will, wants to play uh, to be a, a nurse. We, I have a little. Uh, Granddaughter, she, she's two years old and she, she could wear it, I it think. It can go on my pile of things to make more joyful and then give away. This is nice. Ooh. It's a very uh, fancy scarf with gold embroidery. Wow. And this is also very... Fear campy. <laughs> <laughs> a tie. Can go with the millions of ties I already have. And this is also very classy, a uh, very nice scarf with uh, a, a lady. It's a very artistic uh, pattern. I, I think it's really nice. I love getting stuff from people's the homes. Of, uh, of this See, it's style. It's very fashionable. I like and it. Stylish. <laughs> and this is also very nice. It's a kind of cardigan of uh, yeah. lace material. There is always a, a small chance that I will end up wearing the stuff that gets donated I before think, I cannot with it. I think this will suit Rihanna very well. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that's also good because then it also gets the second life. This is a kind of a hat. <laughs> nice. See, it was very stylish. It's a small hat, but <laughs> Michael Jackson. <gasps> a bag with the name of Michael Jackson embroidered on it. Can I see? How cool. It needs a bit cleaning. <laughs> How cool. But it's nice. This is a, a kind of handkerchief. Yeah. Uh, a children's burping cloth. <laughs> Another hat. Very grandmothery. <laughs> yeah, but styleful. This is also a kind of cardigan. Yeah, I like it. It's rather big. It's good with the leaves and stuff. It's a, yeah, it's a kind of knitting work. Yeah. From the, 70s or 80s, I think. And this is something uh, very nice. It's a kind of old lady's bag. Probably made by herself. Also, f some children would like it. Yeah. Small children like to, to walk around with uh, bags. And, uh, Sometimes those small them. things also like that sheep. I, I keep, I make something nice out of it. And then I give it away to children. I think a, a lot of children would like this yeah. bunny. Uh, I add some happy bag. fabrics to it to make it guilty. And then I give it to... This is the thing you get. Uh, yeah, my friend knows a lot of children who are like uh, traumatized, and I like to give it to her. Here is Ooh. also a, a kind of teddy. It's a kind of nappy. Interesting. The back of a baby blanket. It's a kind of baby blanket. You can, uh, if you put filling in it and quilt it, it's it's ready for, to a baby blanket. Yeah. And here are. Oh, this is nice. Very small children's pyjamas. <laughs> Very nice. Someone made this for her children. You can see it's been sewn by by a nice people. I will ask Saskia if she knows somebody who can use it. 
it's very old fashioned, but good. This is a, a kind of uh, skirt. This is for babies who are uh, small and not laying in their bed very still. <laughs> and then you can wrap them in and they won't kick off the, the blankets. <laughs> In Holland we call it trappelzak. <laughs> Some people have uh, shoulder straps on it and you can put uh, electric, uh, elastic bands on it and you can tie the child to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot even go anywhere. No, that's, that's the meaning. <laughs> and this is a sleeping dress for the little child. This is all very old fashioned. This is the one with uh, straps on the shoulder. Yes. I like the fabrics though. It's uh, a kind of uh, flannel yeah. from the 60s, I think. When I was a little girl, I think I wore it. <laughs> we can combine it with that burping thing. Here is a... Oh, an apron. An apron for a child. When, you are, when the child wants to help you baking or cooking. A box. A box of surprises. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's filled with oh necklaces in oh. all kinds. <laughs> some oh, some are really nice. <laughs> it's like treasure hunting this job, it eh? Yes, yes. <laughs> children party I see now. Ah. Ooh. It's a kind of dress or skirt. I like it. You can wear it as a dress and you can wear it as a skirt. Yeah. Huh. Nice. With the horses. I think a skirt will be okay. I like it. It's odd but nice. You can cut off the uh, straps and yeah. then it's a skirt. I broke my own skirt. Oh, yes. You can not, you so, can now I have a new one. Oh this is old fashioned. Mrs. Eichlebaum. Is it for like a... It's a, a kind of apron. Oh. You wear it like this. And <laughs> when my mother wa used to wear this, when she was going to, to do dirty things in the house. Oh. And then your dress won't be dirty. Not when she was a maid. Oh, probably as well. It suits you. <laughs> You can do it for your own chores. It's not my type of uh, wear. <laughs> it heet, uh, in Dutch it's called jasgort. <laughs> ah. My mother used to have them. <laughs> they were hanging in the... They were really fond of brown. Kitchen. <laughs> I think it's all from the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> this is also a, a kind of skirt. Interesting. Yeah, looks it, good still. It would suit you, I think. Another apron. <laughs> yeah. Could be tied to the back and crisscross. I have a small challenge with the guy I'm dating that I will wear a different skirt every time we meet until ah. the point I mess up and wear the same thing twice. Or <laughs> <laughs> let's see how long he will he will take before he notices. But I keep on getting more skirts, <laughs> so I think I'll win. <laughs> Well, this is also a nice skirt to, to wear. <laughs> if you have your the shirt you're wearing now and you put it with this, it will. It, it looks nice. It will yeah. Look very nice, I think. I have like a million skirts and I keep on it trading needs, them for new ones. It needs a little wash, but <laughs> then you can wear it. Even wear this hat with it. <laughs> very French. Very French. <laughs> this is something different. It's a dress, it's a right? Dress, I think. It could suit you. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a little bit... Uh, Sexy? I think you should wear it with the pants. <laughs> yeah. I will try it. Sometimes you get donated good stuff and then I wear it before I quilt it. This is a big it's like an evening dress. Black dress. Size 44. Oh yeah. It's not too small in the, on the top. It's, it's a little bit too big, but it could work. It could work. And you can make it more happy with like uh, some scarves and stuff like that because it's a bit black. 
It's a bit faded, I think. <laughs> I also challenge him to take me out to a fancy location to see my opera dress. I think you could wear it. <laughs> it's a bit faded, but if you wear something colorful with it, it can work. Yeah, you can make like, uh, you can applique some fabrics on it. Or you wear a shirt. It's a kind of bag to take to the swimming pool because the oh. inside is made of plastic. My father finally has his swimming pool bag. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep it for him. <laughs> Another scarf. Oh, nice. I also thinking about the project with scarves. So it's good to have some. You have more than enough. And this is a pant. No, not to keep necessarily, but uh, a scarf is a portable quilt. Eh? And if you yes. can get like uh, comfort and, uh, and, and power from a quilt, a scarf is good. So I've been collecting them for winter. Another hat. It looks like a kind of... A sailor one. Uh, or a pilot one. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> or a French policeman. Uh, Seals yeah. really fashionable. <laughs> this is a uh, kind of... Looks homemade. Blouse. <laughs> it looks like a tablecloth with that red stuff. It looks like uh, <laughs> something for a party. <laughs> You can put like stuff in it. Saskia oh, yeah, was always looking yes. for, for stuff she can put like uh, scissors yeah, and phone. And it could work for that, but I don't <laughs> think she will fit. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a good idea for a shirt to just yeah. sew a piece underneath. Another one. <laughs> oh, Paris. For Paris. <laughs> Another one. Ah. From Very abstract. From <laughs> Greece, I think. A fine piece of knitting, a baby blanket. <laughs> oh, cool. Here's another uh, F. Hoffman. It's a kind of. It's like a apron. Apron. Yeah. For. Uh, I never understood why they made aprons white. No, that's what I think. <laughs> Perhaps for a servant or so. Yeah. The best thing to do is have an apron in a very, very bold fabric. Here's another one. So you don't see it when it gets dirty. That's a really fancy one. It has a, a scarf in it. <laughs> yeah, this is a fancy one for a, for a maid. You can use it for carrying stuff. You can use it for your... Uh, yeah, I can cultify it and give it to Saskia. The other one is a bit broken. Yeah, it is. But this this one could come handy for Saskia. Yeah, but I will first make it a bit more fun. <laughs> A belt. Another apron. Maybe she was a lady's maid at some point. Perhaps. Or a service girl in a, in a restaurant. Yeah. This is also an apron. Lots of people in the Netherlands used to work as a maid. From the generation of these people, like around 70, 80, I think, they used to... A lot yeah. of them used to work in. I think uh, so, yes. My grandmother as well. She used to work as a servant girl in the in the in a house, in right? doctor's family. Yeah. <laughs> and perhaps when she served at the table, she had to wear that. <laughs> this is a, a homemade blouse, nice blue color, but uh, the color is a bit. That's dirty. Dirty, but if you wash it, you can use the the blue fabric on some yeah. parts. Or but take the color off. Things. Another. Oh, this is for on your head. Oh yeah, with the embroidery on it. Uh, it's a name. Another scarf. Nice. Lots of scarves. Some people have a love for scarves. I also have like ten of them. Yes, you do. <laughs> I just wear them, all of them, but on different moments. <laughs> I'm not that into scarves. I think it, it's it, too hot. <laughs> it makes everything look fashionable. Then you have a lot of fashion here. <laughs> It's not really my style, but and it's this nice. is uh, the Christmas Christmas, uh, Christmas hat <laughs> of the elves. That was the first bag. <laughs> Sesame Street uh, cap. Cute. Another hat. <laughs> nice. I I I see. You, you're a bit too young for it still. And I my hat's a bit too big. But your grandchildren are a bit Don't too young it. for to be grandmother like that. That's it. The first bag. <laughs> no. Now the next one. The second one. <laughs> Let's go on. The pile is getting higher and higher. <laughs> yeah. This is 
different material. It's, it's a, a sweater <laughs> with a chocolate stain. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow they still kept it. And this is a wildlife not trade. Oh, cool. Tote bag. It's totally in style of the conservation research I it did. It is, yes. It's World Animal Protection, so it is. I also have a project with tote bags, so it's good. Lots of people have them, but don't really use them because they're ugly. So I want to teach people how to make them beautiful. There you have one. Yeah. It's a short pants. <laughs> Smaller size, this one. It is small. Maybe grandchildren or something. And very short, huh? Yeah. This is a tablecloth. Oh, nice. With the with feathers. feathers on it. It's really nice to quilt with because uh, it's a, a nice pattern. <laughs> yeah. Here we have a t shirt. Character is power, not, not that good. Yeah. It's not super interesting. Another uh, tote bag. Another wildlife one. Because tote bags, people say they are sustainable because you can reuse them, but they're only sustainable if you actually actually reuse them. Yes. <laughs> so I'm trying to find a way to bring them back into the cycle. <laughs> this is an old uh, curtain, from, curtain. Uh, from a children's. Curtains bedroom. like this are perfect for the back of your quilts because they're cute. And yeah, they're cute. <laughs> I also like them to use for... Uh, Children's quilts for yeah. girls. For the front side you can use it and for the back side it's also a nice big uh, piece of uh, material. Yeah. But uh, sometimes I have a project of, of pink and then it's for girls. This is very nice. Yeah. You can use the, the elves and then... Uh, you can take nice some... Uh, of elves. Some of you, if something sparks interest, you can take it. I think here's another one. Because <laughs> you're really good at making those thematic... Girls' things, children' things, I just have crazy quilts. Then we can share it because yeah. there's another one. <laughs> they just want somebody to, to do something with the fabrics, it doesn't really matter who. I think this is a bed. So bedding. It's grey with a kind of queer pattern. It's also interesting as backing. It's uh, Yeah, it can be used as backing. And sometimes I use it for picnic clothes. Because you can you can use like colorful embroidery for the quilting and then it looks nice. It's a kind of strange size. I think it's for a medium sized bed. Yeah. It's good to have pieces of fabric like that. And yeah, sometimes you need a big piece for yeah. the side and then it sound. Uh, sometimes it looks cheap when you do uh, pieces uh, sewn together. Yeah. And also when you have like a big piece of bedding, you can make a scrap quilt look cohesive because you can use. A lot of pieces piece. of one piece, yeah. Here's a nice uh, oh. men's shirt. I can use it for my kawandis. I think it's not worn that much. It's from Jack Hansen, so that's fancy. That's <laughs> a fancy uh, Dutch brand of uh, menswear. I have a father who went to work, so my mom knows. <laughs> and my brother do, uh, wears that. I, I, I am doing a father's quilt, so I can use those shirts for it. Place mats. another one. Very nice, with the stripes. Using shirts in a quilt brings the father back into people's life. It is. It also brings back the grandfather. This yeah. is a big shirt. Maybe somebody expanded in size while they were collecting these clothes. But it's a nice cotton material, <laughs> so you can use it as... It's nice, the flowers. It's, it's like uh, a shirt from the men's shirt. It's a very it's flamboyant... <laughs> that, that guy was very... Uh, I can give it to the date. <laughs> Yeah, it's for ma it's for ladies, oh. for a big lady. He would wear it. <laughs> this is also a big shirt, not to my taste. No. I don't like the stripes and the pink flowers, but it's really nice for a girl. It will be nice in the quilt, I think, as well, the flowers. Uh, that will be nice. <laughs> it's a kind of sweatshirt. Yeah, of in a pillow or something. Ooh, orange. This is an orange. I like that a color. A kind of cardigan. It's very big, but I like the color. <laughs> Sometimes colors are hard to find, these kind of this colors. Is a rather big size. But it's gorgeous. But big, yeah. It's a bit big. But a good color. For me? <laughs> uh, for me. I don't know. Yeah, it's, no, it's even more bigger. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a nice color. 
This is an old sweater. I think it's for a man. Yeah, it looks like a pyjama almost. It looks like it, but it, it is a sweater. And another sweater, Ooh. a bit old fashioned. Reminds me of my dad. Yeah, yeah, he used to wear this. <laughs> Went to his work. I had to make him throw it away because it was so much outdated. <laughs> <laughs> I like those kind of sweaters on men. It looks calming and uh, non-threatening. And it's warm. A little bit outdated. <laughs> I see something nice. Last bag. It's uh, a, a baby, uh, a, a children's uh, well, like one of those dolls bed. <laughs> It's a little bit smaller than the doll's bed my brother made, right? It is, yes. Yeah. This is uh, doll's clothing. How cute. How the cute. The baby boy. How cute. I <laughs> hope you can... Uh, Find a child. Wash it and give it to a child. This is also the, the doll's clothes. Yeah. This kind of uh, doll's clothing is very expensive. I have to ask around if I know somebody who has a doll like that. Your uh, niece, uh, perhaps. Oh, yeah. It's for baby born. It's a very expensive Dutch brand of uh, baby. Does he have baby born or random? Not yet, I think, but maybe she will have a, a baby born. This is also from the doll's clothes. How cute. I would like a bigger version of that one for when it gets winter. And the hat for the, ba for the doll. <laughs> Even their baby was stylish. This is uh, something crochet. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Maybe blanket <laughs> for the baby born. Not so very good, mate. <laughs> and this is a, a baby carrier for the baby doll. How cute. With a cheater quilt. Yeah. That's a fabric that looks like a quilt. It is, yes. And here's a, a sock oh. for the baby doll. <laughs> and another uh, blanket for the baby. <laughs> they really love their baby born. And this is an old-fashioned uh, uh, baby children's uh, uh, cardigan. It's a short one for yeah. to wear with a, a dress. Nice. It's very small for a small child. Very small. My my granddaughter used to wear it. Yeah, she's bigger now. She's she yeah, she she outgrown it. <laughs> More baby board. <laughs> oh, cool. I think from the seventies. Yeah. See from the color. <laughs> That was the time when the baby born started, I think. Yeah, maybe. A pants. Is my baby, uh, my doll still somewhere with one arm? No, I don't think so. <laughs> very green scarf. Yeah. Or a, a flag. An old boy's pants, pirate. Cool. Five to six years. It's a short pants, I think. <laughs> yeah. Casper would fit. <laughs> Does he like pirates? I don't know. He's more into... Uh, <laughs> ah. It's into class. It's a sock like a chicken. <gasps> <laughs> That's very cool. <laughs> That's something you would like. Yeah. Hmm? Here I have a bag with all kinds of... This is gymnastic wear for a little girl. Hmm. Ah, very small. Very small. I think four years old or so. Oh, so feel a wood fit? No, uh, yes. Ballet shoes. Oh, wow. It. <laughs> ballet. It's a kind of ballet outfit. Yeah. With a kind of uh, with a pantyhose. <laughs> huh. Fascinating, the kind of things people keep, eh? Perhaps it came in the corner where no one looked. <laughs> Disney. This is a Disney uh, top. Disney top for a little girl. A lot of like uh, clothes for parties. It's for the two year old, I think. Yeah. This is also for uh, the doll's bed. Yeah. <laughs> That's a mattress with uh, the spelling in it. <laughs> we only missed the bed. So yeah. <laughs> We have to ask my brother to make one. 
another one. <laughs> <laughs> this is also a little girl's cardigan. Very cute. I think two or three years old. And this is a pantyhouse. It belongs with the ballet stuff. I think so. Another another one. <laughs> yeah. This for the doll. We've seen a lot of that. Huh? Yeah. Another pantyhose. Pantyhose are very good as <laughs> stuffing and uh, yeah. This is I think this is something for the ballet. Yeah. For the hair or something. And this is a hat. A hat for fancy dress. It's something about the plop, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, maybe about the plop. About the plop is, is a kind of uh, action <laughs> figure from Belgium. Uh, there is a, a cartoon yeah. series about him. <laughs> <laughs> Another ballet wear. This one's a bit bigger, I think. So cute. Four to five years old. And an, another pantyhose. It must look so cute, all those little girls doing ballet. Yes, it does. <laughs> another doll's wear. <laughs> I really have to find somebody with a doll, with a lack of clothing. <laughs> a pillow for the baby bed. Yeah. This looks like a book cover. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You have book cover. Uh, Reusable. Very sustainable. This is a just a, a little shirt. A children's shirt. It can be worn by boys or girls. <laughs> About size seven, eight. Ooh, bells. It's also from the about the plop for football. Yes. <laughs> you can put it on your head and do a party. Oh, you fit. It's stretchy. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Another one. Oh, amazing. <laughs> in the, there are several persons in the cartoon of the Kabouter Plop. Yeah. You have a uh, Plop and you have... Uh, a female and oh, there is cool. a, a sleepy one and there is a the I will bring them to the party. Yeah. Also ballet I think. It's a ballet skirt. Yeah. It goes with a very cute with a ballet not a pantyhose. Oh it's, all, it's, it's also for the doll I think. Or for the newborn baby. Yeah, it's very cute though. I think for a newborn baby. Another hat. Cool. The bell is broken. <laughs> Another hat. <laughs> They're really, really party loving people. Another. Uh, ballet? Ballet outfit. Yeah. It's a bit uh, torn. <laughs> yeah. Ballet loving girls. <laughs> Oh, this is for the pirate. It's, yeah, it's uh, the shirt for a pirate. Yeah. Now we only need uh, the parrot. Yeah. For on the shoulder. And the hat. Perhaps when we go on. And the sword. Yeah. This is also a... This is a, a pirate pants. Ah. It goes with the shirt. We have book covers. Lots of book covers. You borrow the books from schools here, so you have to put a cover around it. Yeah, and then you uh, the, the idea is that you have the cover and you use it again the next year. Yeah, usually you use paper, but you can also have fabric ones. And then you, you buy them in the first grade and then you use them until you graduate. But yeah. I think that's not... This is a very small, old-fashioned baby outfit. Yeah, very cute, with a snail on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, newborn size, hmm? 50, 65. I don't know any babies. 
it's from the very small baby and the baby had short legs. They shortened it. <laughs> or maybe for baby born as well. That's big, eh? Maybe. That, that's possible. It's also so old fashioned. Maybe uh, outfit. Yeah. Cute though. They're also outdated. <laughs> when Rihanna was small, they were all already outdated. An old baby shirt. This is old fashioned. This kind of wear. With trees. A kind of Christmas trees. That yeah. But this is uh, very old fashioned. Oh, yeah, nice. It's very good knitting though. It's machine knitted. <laughs> This is old, uh, also a baby's cardigan. Nice. A newborn baby. The size is 90, 82, 92. That's for two year old. Not so big two year old. No, Vela wouldn't. The two year old I know uh, wouldn't fit. <laughs> no, Vela wouldn't. <laughs> This is the old baby pants. Mm -hmm. Old fashioned baby. Uh, oh, vest. <laughs> how cute! Little babies used to wear this before the baby rompers were invented. Mm. <laughs> It doesn't work so well. You always have a bare back. Cold babies. Yes. And it goes with this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, like that. that. <laughs> ah, yeah. I think like this. This is the front. <laughs> yeah. With nappy stains. <laughs> By the time the babies were that, you had uh, nappies made from cloth. It's also ballet. To, to, fill, to uh, wrap around the baby and with a the, with the pin, safety pin. <laughs> It was hard being a baby in that time. And hard to be a mother because you had to wash them all the time. Also, old fashioned baby wear. Yeah. From a sailor. Like one year old? No, a bit uh, older, maybe. Yeah, I think so. It's kind of pyjama. I can see the mocking in it, sort of. A kind of nightwear. 74, 80. Hmm. Yeah, it's nine months, I think. Cute. But it, it, it depends. If you have big babies like I had, They fit in the sooner. It's also all, all kinds of baby wear. Yeah. A sun hat. <laughs> Another sun hat. <laughs> This is uh, those. Close. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you should uh, sift through and uh, put the doll's uh, dresses yeah. aside. First wash all of it. All, all of it, yes. For this is all uh, do doll's uh, clothes. Perhaps I can take it aside. This bag. <laughs> yeah. But most of it is for babies out of the... And also the good baby clothes I can take aside. Yes, and this is the, the old fashioned nappy. Ooh, nappy. We're very good for cleaning glasses, I hear. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I don't have babies, so that's the use I have. I do have glasses. <laughs> you still can buy them in the shop. Yeah. This is also a newborn baby. Uh, very yeah, cute. For the summer. And babies used to wear this. I don't like it. <gasps> This kind of style of baby wear because if you have to change the nappy, you have to undress it, your your baby. But the bird's cute. That is uh, that's true. That's a, t a cute bird. <laughs> This is something strange. It's like a hat. Uh, yeah, but uh, strange kind of a hat with a with a scarf. Like those uh, orthodox people wear. Looks a bit like. Perhaps it. yes. Here goes the head and this goes in the neck. <laughs> like in the Netherlands you have people who still use the old fashioned clothes as well. It looks a bit like that. Perhaps yes. This is a uh, summer. 
Nice. Bench. This is all very old fashioned baby spell stuff. Yeah. Lots and lots of. This one, you could almost think it was made of an old handkerchief. <laughs> it's cute though. It's an, uh, a little girl's dress. Uh. Yeah. Reminds you of the ones you made for us. With a matching. With a matching hat. It, I think it's a pants. pants. So you can run around and tumble around without being indecent. Yeah, that's true. And you see the nappy goes in it. And then it won't. Don't go anywhere. Another cute dress. Another cute one. I think someone sued this. Yeah. No, it isn't. It's from the shop. How do you see that? There is a, a label in it. Oh yeah, that's the easy clue. <laughs> if you make your own clothes, then you have no labels. This is also nice. Yeah. This is the, I think this is homemade. Someone's grandmother made this. Mm -hmm. Nice flower again. It's very, very old fashioned. <laughs> Like this. Yeah. It's a kind of crochet. <laughs> Two types of crochet. The, the lower one is the standard crochet and this is the... Uh, that's another kind of crochet. It's but like in... Uh, I think this is 70s maybe. People uh, still made a lot of handmade stuff. Yeah, I think this is very hot. <laughs> like Mother's Day, they were home being mothers or doing hand stuff. Yeah. <laughs> When you go through a picture book of my, my, my brother and sister young, we always wear stuff my mom made. Yeah. <laughs> this is very old. I think you made like 25 sweaters at least. This is something very... Uh, is it discolored? It's a knitted shirt. Yeah. <laughs> a vest. To wear under your clothes. Probably very warm. Uh, in winter, children were, su were supposed to wear these things made of wool to keep them warm. Yeah. And most children had uh, nightmares from that because they were very itchy. <laughs> I, there should be buttons on it. Maybe they're gone. I think so. Or used for something else. There are buttonholes, but there are no buttons. <laughs> yeah, and maybe repurposed. Remove the buttons to use it again to a new, yeah. uh, bigger one. Buttons used to be a bit expensive. They're still expensive. Oh, this is an, another one here. Weight buttons. Oh yeah. I then usually you can put it on from the legs and then attach it to the shoulders. Yeah. Try it on a modern day baby, see how they like it. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody has it's a baby I can small, borrow. So it's for us. <laughs> this one is even smaller. <laughs> Does somebody have a newborn baby we can borrow for this experiment? Uh, it's from a, for a newborn baby, I think. <laughs> this one is a bit bigger. And it's made of cotton, so it's it's very stiff. <laughs> and here are the old-fashioned, maybe, where <coughs> someone uh, threw his complete baby outfit in in this bag. Yeah. It's another baby. How cute! Some of those things you could go to a museum. <laughs> yeah. Another dress. Another fake quilt. Cheetah quilt. This kind of fabric was sold all over the times. It's very nice. But this is also from a shop. Yeah. Yeah. Shop bought clothes were very fancy in, in, in that time. Yeah. Simple uh, baby outfit. Things changed quickly. Now they're not special at all. <laughs> Now sometimes babies have so much clothes you cannot even wear them all before no, they grow out of it. They grow uh, very fast, so you have to be careful with your baby clothes. Very nice. But sometimes you get baby clothes you don't like, so you can leave them in the cupboard too long. This <laughs> is uh, also very hot. Very big as well. It's a kind of band. Yeah. I wouldn't like to wear it. <laughs> oh. Too sewing. <laughs> Too sewing, dude. Or woman, I don't kind know. Kind of uh, 
minions or something. We're almost through it. I have to think if I want to quilt with the baby clothes or somehow give them a new home. This is the old the newborn baby shirt. Mm -hmm. You wear them from the front and on the back it's open. And you have there has to be a string. You can You can like be through. And then you put a safety pin on the back. Oh. That's for the newborn babies. Uh, so the baby has to lay on a safety pin. When you were a small baby, this nobody wore this. But when Frauke was a baby, it was almost outdated. So if you're unlucky as a baby, you had safety pin in your neck. In your bed, yes. <laughs> this is the more fancy thing with, with buttons on the shoulder. Oh yeah, you can like stick them in. Nah, yeah, it's more... You have to... Wrestle. Your baby in. <laughs> That was the, the idea of the open bag. You could uh, <laughs> wrestle your baby in. <laughs> this is also a, a small one. But this is the bag. Yeah. It's very small, it's short sleeves for a summer baby. More knitted stuff. More of the old fashioned baby things. It's a miracle that it still exists. Yeah. Because some people were not that rich, and uh, when they had the last baby and it was all grown, the stuff was uh, torn apart, and uh, the yard could be used again for huh? to, to make something a bit bigger. <laughs> and then you don't have to buy a new yarn, and that was expensive. Yarn is expensive. Yeah, it used to be. It still is. <laughs> A sock and a scarf from a doll. I'll have to think of something special to do with it. You could exhibit it somewhere. Pantyhose. Yeah. If you have a festival, you could uh, make a, a special table or corner with old fashioned... Uh, <laughs> old fashioned baby stuff. Baby stuff. And then I think that a lot of people would... Uh, All the moms will be like, oh! <laughs> really about, ruling about it. Uh, for, oh, <laughs> my how nice it was. My baby used to have the same, and <laughs> my mother knitted it for me. <laughs> uh, uh, exactly. Because sometimes in the olden days, handmade used to be cheaper than buying. Sometimes. Uh, most of the times it was. <laughs> yeah, and it's not even that long ago. Like fifty years ago. It, that's true. Yeah. Another. Uh, like, Jim. Gymnastics, uh, yeah. We're through, almost. This is also another a duck. duck on it <laughs> and the pants on it. I, I can keep the really old fashioned baby stuff. You can uh, use it, uh, another book of covers. There's quite a lot of it. Huh? Yeah. But you had like 10 courses, huh? Yeah. Lots and lots of it. Yeah. The baby was bigger. <laughs> he went to school. <laughs> <laughs> you have a whole history of a family here. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's interesting, eh? Yeah. Also, at some point, the baby loved parrots. <laughs> this is uh, an outfit for a like Barbie a pop. A Barbie. Man. Like a groom's man. Uh, yeah, but it's inside out. Homemade? No, it's not homemade. If you haven't made this, you will know it's impossible to, to make. Well, somebody did. It is too small to make. Now you refused to make Barbie clothes, eh? You I, were I not did, going yes. smaller than baby clothes. I did. <laughs> but I do know you you made a very good sleeping bag for my doll. For? For my doll. Yeah, that's that one is still is. there, I guess. Yeah, that yes. was a very good one. We were a scouting family, so sli sleeping bag was uh, a yeah. must-have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is a, a homemade bikini top for a little girl. <laughs> yeah. With oh. very long straps. <laughs> <laughs> How cute! It's it's very cute. <laughs> 
with the nice use of the flowery fabric. So you can make a very good uh, rope knot in it. Very nice. That's it. Thank you. So lots of stuff to pass on, not necessarily to quilt with. But that's also okay. And some things I can quiltify, make it a bit nicer. Yeah. Okay. And some stuff can be put in uh, as a filling. Yeah, I will go through the baby stuff more precisely to see which is still good and which one I can use. Yeah. And the book covers are... Uh, Odd fabrics. A nasty, stretchy fabric. <laughs> the idea of a book cover is good though, so I can steal the pattern. Or yes. borrow forever. Uh, As you can also say, let me so, let myself be inspired by. <laughs> if you go in the train and you read a book that's very <laughs> with a, a, a strange cover, yeah. <laughs> and you can use this. Or when you buy those boring notebooks, you can make it nicer with a book cover. And then you can take a felt tips pencils and write on it. <laughs> yeah. That would be nice. And make a drawing on it. This is a light grey, so it's, it's, it must be possible. So it's a good good and idea to have them. Something on it. But they're boring. This one is boring. So we can do something with it. Thank you for your uh, report. It was a long report. <laughs> yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I did. Do you have inspiration? It always makes me curious when I see some bags with uh, stuff. Uh, <laughs> I want to know what's in it. <laughs> me too, me too. There was nothing moldy, luckily. The guy said that the, the one of the bags was smelling badly, so I was half afraid of mouse and stuff like that. But we were lucky. I haven't seen something like that. No. So I think it's just old. Yes, it is. It, it has see? been in somebody's attic for many years. Many, many years. As you see, they're all baby clothes. They are very uh, uh, dirty and uh, yeah. from uh, many, many years ago, perhaps 20 or 30 years ago. I think more than 30 years ago. And then... It cannot be good. <laughs> no, I will sort through it more carefully, wash it, and uh, you will see updates on my uh, Instagram. Okay. Thank you, mom, for yeah, well uh, taking my job over yeah. for one day. <laughs> yeah, I thought it would be uh, interesting for people to see somebody else's face as well, <laughs> because my mom likes these kind of things, and I yeah, get I bags like this all the time. So <laughs> I was like, uh, I'll give the honor to somebody else. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I will uh, yeah, keep an eye on my profile for more. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>